What's up, you guys? It has been a long time, huh? I am making a video, <laughs> which is weird. This is going to be a life update. We might talk a little bit about some other things, but for the most part, this is just a life update. So if you're here for reviews or any of that, it's not this video, but let's get started. I am currently sitting in a camper in my front yard. Ida hit us with a tree and so our house has been jacked and this is where we're at. It's been a long, stupid, ridiculous road and I might make a video about it, but for now I'm just gonna mention it. Where have you been? Well, I'll tell you where I have been since you act so passionately. Here we go. 2020 was the hell of a year. I know you guys know, we talked about it. And at some point it got to be like, there was so much noise. There was a lot going on in America with the George Floyd video being released. There were the protests and all of that. And I think that anybody who watches my videos knows where my heart is on the subject, but it was kind of weird because it was a moment where it was like, there are no words to say and I'm not the person who should be saying them. I really felt like what can I contribute to this? Like my sadness, my pain, my heartache, it's not a time for any of that. And I don't have a platform big enough to give to somebody else, but I certainly didn't have to add to it uh, another white voice that was talking about things that I really had no place or business talking about. And so it was kind of a weird situation. Um, where I just kind of kept feeling like this isn't the time and what do you even say? I'm horrified. Well, fuck, we should have been horrified for a long time. If you're just now getting hor horrified, you are late to the party. Um, you know, oh, I'm so like disgusted. I can't believe it. You can't believe it? You can't believe it? I can't believe that there was a camera that they didn't smash to bits. But the action that would happen that day, you better believe it. So it's kind of like... I don't know, there was this moment where it was like, I don't know how to put that together in any meaningful way. And I don't necessarily want to do it because it's not my place or space. But to come back and not mention it at all is disingenuous and wrong. So that is what kind of started my pause. And then from that point, with our election in 2020, things just started to spiral. And there was so much happening with the pandemic and the spiral in election and the protests that I didn't know how to come here and talk trash about reality TV when it didn't really matter. And it's hard to say that because you know, everybody needs relief and everybody needs comfort and everybody needs to relax sometimes and those things can help with that. But at the same time, I just couldn't do it. And I sat down and I recorded so many videos where I just couldn't do it. The energy wasn't there. I wasn't there. Um, I wasn't there. Like, there. You know, it was everything I could do to get through the day. And to try to figure out where does my voice and my opinion even fit? Does it fit? Should I? I don't even know. You know, it was, it was very strange. Um, during that time, I did have a lot of mental health issues as well. Towards the end of summer 2020, I was really kind of a basket case. My daughter has been extremely ill and trying to like I am chronically ill so trying to manage me and manage her while we're getting her diagnosed was very hard um in a very scary time where we have to go to doctors but you don't want to leave the house it was just so so much and I guess I just kind of shrunk even more just shriveled up I'm gonna try not to cry <laughs> 2020 cost me a lot um emotionally with the election because it really put where everybody stood in a very stark black or white space. And as 
a queer person, there's already kind of an acknowledgement. I know that you wouldn't love me if I wasn't related to you. I know that we wouldn't be friends if you weren't my blood. I understand that I am not somebody you would want in your spaces because I am queer. But to have that same energy surround human rights as a whole was hard. It was hard to see people for what they were. And I guess kind of hard to see them for what you knew they always were, for what they've always been. And in, in those moments, I also had to kind of make decisions. And I looked at the people I had had in, in informative conversations with, people who I had shared so much of my life with. And I just was like, at this point, if that's your opinion, if that's the side you're on, then you know what you're choosing and you know what you're saying and you don't care. And that tells me all I need to know about how you feel about me. And so at the end of 2020, I made some big changes in the people who I let share my my emotional space because it was 2020 and we weren't sharing space with anybody um and that was hard like that I I suffered those losses which sucks because it sucks it sucks to be like you know I want to call so and so and go oh you can't because they're not there anymore their body is but they are not their heart is not it was a weird situation so that happened <laughs> like you know um and that took a while and early 2021 was kind of a blur it, it, it just has been a long process medical process and everything else and it kind of got to a place where it felt too big to come back <laughs> like there's so much how do you address any of it i don't know like you tell me i don't know so it, that's what kept happening and then My oldest started college, so we've been dealing with that, and she's on break now, but there was just a lot. Physically demanding, emotionally demanding, it's been a lot. And it is still ongoing, because there are certain people who, during that process, I was like, well, you know, but I love you so much, but I'm out of place. And that's another video, but for now, I'm just gonna say I'm out of place, and I'm moving on. And I am really dedicated, you guys, so much, so maybe this is like a what to expect in 2022. I am dedicated. I'm dedicated to preserving my vibe, protecting my energy, and advocating for myself. I just started doing that in my own health because I, I tend to like, I'm fighting for my kid, right? I'm like, oh, you're going to diagnose her and you're going to get her treated and we're going to figure it out. But when it comes to me, I'm shrinking up. I'm like, no, it's fine. I can wait. It's not a big deal. No, no, no. I can get through it. And I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Like, go in there and do it. My wife was like, fight for yourself as if you were one of our kids. And I was like, yes. So I went to the doctor. I sat down and I got verbal. I was like, this is what I'm dealing with and this is what's going on and I want to actually fix it. And she was like, cool, let's start a medicine. Let's let's start actively going after it. And I was like, what? That easy? Okay. <laughs> you know? So it's been working. And in that same spirit, I'm going to advocate for myself in my energetic field and in my life. I don't want to say yes when I mean no. I don't want to feel guilty about saying no. I don't want to give myself, my time, my energy my thoughts to things that do not serve me. Now, does that mean I'm not going to watch trash TV? No, because that doesn't suck my energy. I usually have it on in the background. If it gets real entertaining, like something we need to talk about, then I do pay attention. But I feel like that brings me joy. This brings me joy. I just wasn't able to find joy for over a year, which is fucked, but true. So anyway, um, anyway, yeah, this is where I'm at. And I was like, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to do it. And actually, I sat down to make a video for something else. And then my spirit went, you know why you can't make that video? 
because you haven't made this one. So here I am making this one. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a mess, but it is what it is. And here I am. <sighs> okay. Well, side note, I have opinions about Kanye West trying to get Kim back real quick. Let's just talk about it. It's not reality TV, but it's celebrity bullshit. So let's go. I think it's disgusting. And I saw on Twitter where a lot of people were like, oh my God, he changed the song lyrics. Oh my God. But here's the thing. Gone are the days that women should be, well, first of all, those days never existed. So never mind. But we should not be allowing public displays pressure to make us get back together with somebody who isn't doing the work behind the doors. And I have opinions and all of my opinions on public people are obviously they're based on public information. I don't know these people. I'm not claiming to know them. These are my opinions based on the public personas that are available to me. And if you look at those, it shows pretty clearly somebody is suffering with mental illness or emotional disturbances. And that person hasn't, I think they did at one point do the work to like stabilize and be a good father and be a good, a, a good human, but they haven't been doing it lately. And I think that Kim Kardashian has every right to say no. No, this isn't good for our kids. It's not good for me. This doesn't serve me anymore. And if you're not willing to do the work behind closed doors and to make things change, then changing a song lyric shouldn't have the whole damn universe going, oh, but he wants her back. That's gross. Support her in her venture to move on. Now, as far as her and Pete Davidson go, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I love it. Okay, so thousand years ago when Nicole Richie hooked up with the Madden boy, I was like, I am here for this. I hope they get married. And they did. And they had children. And I'm so happy. I was overly invested in that for no good reason. And I feel the same way about Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. I love Travis Barker. I love him. And I love him with Kourtney Kardashian. And I kind of get similar vibes with Pete Davidson. Now, I don't know because I'm worried for him. But I could see good things coming from this. I like it. Anyway, I couldn't come here and give you an update and not give you a little bit of like talk shit. So there it was. I hope you guys have had the best possible life in the time since I talked to you last time. And, and I am deeply, deeply, deeply looking forward to this next year. I have some big shit going on that I've decided to make videos about. So that's going to happen. Um, big shit. <laughs> big shit. And, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to be back. I will probably watch some TV and talk to you about it. I will probably more likely be talking to you about celebrity news because I'm into that. And sometimes it motivates me. So whatever I get motivated about is what I'm going to talk about. Yes, that's true. And in 2022, I have this deep, 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 deep desire to see us all get what we actually deserve. And with that desire comes the thought, well, then I need to be the kind of person who deserves good things because I want to see us all get what we deserve. That's it. And hopefully we'll all be here and we'll get to see how that unfolds. Until next time, happy Yule. Enjoy your holidays, whatever they are you celebrate. And I hope to see you around. Leave a comment. Ooh, like it, subscribe, all of that stuff I was supposed to say way earlier in the video.